Good afternoon and welcome to Grand TV. It's April 15th, 2014. To my left is Logan Burgess and I'm Brock Shimbino. We had another positive day across the grains in Chicago. Let's turn over the quotes to see how we ended. Corn was up three quarters of a cent. Soybeans leader to the upside up 25 cents. Wheat in Chicago up 23 cents here today. You know, Logan, we did have another positive day. Leading us off today was the NOPA crush numbers that came out uh, early on in the trade session. Yeah, Brock, very large NOPA crush number reported today from the month of March. 153 million bushels reported crushed in that report. Well above analyst expectations coming into today's report of only around 146 million bushels crushed during the month of March. So a uh, very strong move higher today for the May contract. Take a look here at a daily chart. As you can see here, we're testing highs printed on last Wednesday's action. Action. Today we had a contract high close. Let's wait and see if we can break above the highs from Wednesday for confirmation that this market's ready for another leg higher. But this sets up this old crop soybean market for continued strength. A very surprising crush number here reported. Uh, given the fact that we've talked about a little bit here on Grain TV, right now crush margins are below break even for a lot of facilities. So we know that um, there is some demand rationing, but clearly not to the same extent that a lot of people were expecting. Yeah, you know, something that was a little bit concerning later in the trade session today was the information uh, that uh, another Brazilian cargo ship actually reached the shores of the right. United States here today with some of those beans that China had uh, canceled uh, from Brazilian, uh, for Brazil. Um, you know, we'll have to see how that pans out here in tonight's session, yep. but after a couple of days of sharp buying like we've seen over the last couple of yep. days, uh, I wouldn't be surprised if we see a little bit of a negative downturn here in the overnight session. Yeah, we'll have to wait and see on that. Kind of the big next thing for this grain market, in my opinion, is uh, Thursday's export sales report. As we know, China has been uh, not, not an aggressive buyer of U.S. soybeans here in recent weeks. We'll have to see if that changes today. But as I said, today's NOPA number uh, sets this old crop contract up for for a sideways to maybe even higher move. We'll have to see what happens in the overnight session. As I said, keep an eye on the highs printed on last Wednesday's trade session. If you want to view those highs for yourself, feel free to give us a call here at the office. We can set you up with a demo account of the trading platform that you see here on Grain TV. Uh, and you can take a, take a look at it for yourself for a two week period and let us know what you think. Thanks a lot for joining us here on Grain TV for a Tuesday. We'll see you tomorrow for the Ethanol Report.